studio we have covered this uh, material type related configurations now we will move further uh, just i will log into system i have already log in uh, now we will do our remaining configurations so we will go to spro reference img so if you want to know, note down this path you can note down and uh, we are into logistic general material master basic setting for basic settings under this we have completed this material type related configuration that is uh, this define attributes of material types assign material types to special create transactions and uh, define number ranges for each material types so again in this we have in basic settings and we already uh, we have seen this one this uh, settings also that is uh, output for a format of a number material number we have seen this thing also now next we will see remaining two configuration these are the see this glo global con make global setting this configurations uh, we cannot understand you cannot understand as from now uh, this is related to entire uh, sap it will cover all the uh, modules and all the important things related to connection rsc connections this uh, document management system that is for drawing management we, the whether you are using document drawing man, management document management systems and all those things will come so it is not relevant for us uh, as of now so if i explain also you if you cannot understand this thing so i am just uh, showing you this how what what are the things are there in this screen so we'll see if you want you if you can see in detail but uh, it's of no use i will directly move to next configuration uh, there is nothing as much as such so here uh, this is one more major thing maintain company codes for materials management see this configuration is very important whenever you create a material master you uh, whenever you create a material master not only material master whatever the master data you create before doing any transaction this configuration should be in place that is you should be finished with this configuration so here what we will do see first uh, i'll open my company code 9860 this is the company code so here we are uh, entering data related to posting period so this is our company code so this is here you can see what is your current period what is the current year current period year so what is the current period uh, this means what is the current year and current month what was the previous year and previous month uh, previous year and previous month previous year in the sense previous period period year see uh, now this is the fifth month of year 2022 so this for this this is the period year and this is a period so similarly for previous month when a uh, previous period was uh, previous period year was 2022 and month was fourth month so here we are entering whatever the data we need so we need to enter see whatever the whatever is our current period we need to enter if we enter current period and month it will take automatically what was the previous finance in previous period and previous month so here it will take which was the last period last to period year and what was the last period month so 2021 and 12 12th month was the last year last period so this data it will take automatically if you enter this to uh, this current uh, period and current uh, current year and current period so so next we have this allow back posting to previous period so if you tick what is the importance of this check bar i'll show you so suppose we have allow black back posting for allow
posting for previous previous period see now we are in now our current period is current period is p e r i o d is see 2022 is the 2022 is the year and fifth month so now we are doing transaction in this period so if you have any transactions left uh, left in previous period incomplete for, from previous period in present period you, you are allowed to uh, make that transaction or not net transaction in the sense you pr in present period you can carry previous period activity or not will this will configure it here so if it check box is active it means we can do that we can allow back posting so this is it means it means and this is don't allow back posting so these are the check mark so this is the initial activity and whenever we are uh, starting this first implementation there we will do this configuration so uh, this is the see i will execute for uh, one come this is so for this they didn't assign any of the year so i'll assign this year see suppose i will enter this thing i will enter current period and current uh, month so you see it will take automatically what was the previous 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 period and month and which was the last year and last month so here yeah, again you can check this check box also if you say this this is one time activity one time if you activate this thing you are not allowed to change again if i want to change again it will not allow so it is one time activity so should be very careful regarding this thing Uh, you might be getting one doubt here so here for both allow back posting also one box is there don't allow back posting also one check box is there so in normal case what 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 will happen if i tick the check box it will allow back posting if i untick this one it will don't allow so but in this case they have given one more separate column and there they have given don't allow back posting generally so so as of now you don't understand this concept uh, because uh, it, we, it's in very initial, we are in very initial stage so we have one concept called month end activities that is for period closing and period opening activities there so i'll just explain you whenever whenever you finish of uh, first time practicing this all these things so you will come you come again and you see this thing then you will understand so we have pe uh, month end activities that is period closing and period opening activities uh, that is um, mainly concerned about uh, that is a major concern for uh, both mm and fi consultant so they will handle depending upon how they are assigned so we have transaction called mmpv so here we see by heading you can see close period of material master record so here we will enter company code whatever our company code is there we will enter from company code to company code and here we will enter a current period and current current year and current uh, month so after entering see i will uh, enter the current period is current period is fifth period and year is 2022 so when i execute this thing so what will happen it will close current period current period this month it will closes current period month uh, fifth closes and month sixth activates automatically 
so this is done every month at the end of the month it will be done actually so that so next period you will get activated so as of now uh, i will just check period only i am not uh, i'll choose this check box uh, this radio button so what will uh, it will show it will only check the period it will not close the period so i will execute now see month entered incorrect period in control record there is no conversation the current period of the control record is fifth so logically it is it, it is not possible see it is still 17th date is 17th so we have still 15 days left so whenever we reach the month end that is at the end of month at 30th or 31st uh, we'll close this period we'll close the period of fifth period will close and automatically new period will be generated so here in this screen what will happen next next month it will become sixth year will be same 2022 and uh, sixth period will change sixth so whenever they if we keep it unticked so if you keep it unticked so whenever they execute this transaction no this month and closing close period act, uh, this transaction they will execute at that time it will automatically tick this box so that's why they have given if you don't want at, at any cost if you don't want to allow back posting then you need to tick this one so then only it will not uh, allow allow back posting or else if you keep as it is blank so at every month end activity it will automatically get this checkbox ticket so here for in for detail you can see this documentation allow posting to previous period indicator that allows posting to previous period that is back posting in this case the previous period is previous preceding month so here however that indicator is set again automatically during period closing this period closing is there no uh, this is what i have showed here so this is a period closing activity so whenever they do the period closing activities this check marks will automatically set so this is what it is saying here see that the indicator is set again automatically during period closing re, re allowing posting to the previous period so if you do not want the indicator to be set automatically during period closing if you do not want set the indicator disallow back posting generally at any case you don't want this posting you can set this thing so if you leave it blank it will automatically take the at the time of period closing so this is advanced concept as of now you don't understand just to finish up the course and again come back here you will then you will be you, then you will understand so so this is major screen so you may you should be in a situation to understand this thing so now so this is the configuration this screen about this uh, this screen slash and oh, i'll show you so in logistic general uh, logistic general and material master in basic setting so this settings we have this configuration we have completed this transaction i want to say this configuration we have completed uh, that is the path and if you want t code see here you can select the transaction code it will display the transaction code for whichever screen you are in so for this oms wise the transaction code 